it is now time to make some chili. So I've gotten the crock pot out and now I'm going to get out the ingredients. I just realized that if I cook all that chili, I'm not going to have room for it in the freezer and it's only going to keep a couple days in the fridge. I'm going to need to take all the meat out of the boxes, get another one of these little meat bin thingies or these bin thingies at, I think I got it at one of the dollar stores. Then I'll have possibly room for the chili. But I'm also going to make taco meat and I was going to make Cajun pasta. I'll figure it out. I might have to sacrifice some things. There are some things in here that are low. They're just in a container. I'll figure it out. Okay, so my plan was to cook chili in the slow cooker today, along with my other meals. And then tomorrow I was going to cook taco meat with the slow cooker. Again, like cooking a second day. But I've decided now that I'm just going to go ahead and cook the taco meat up and put it in something and freeze it or stick it in the fridge or something tonight. And then I'll have more options for food. I can always wash this pan and reuse it because I'm going to be doing the Cajun chicken pasta, which I'm nervous about, and also the potatoes au gratin in the little pan things that I've never made before, but I have like cream, heavy cream and everything. And I've never made like a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna be doing, but I'm excited. This is, this is like my present to myself. Okay, now that I have chopped up the meat a little bit so that it doesn't create one large piece of meat that's cooking. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever done that before, but it's funny. Anyway. So I got some turkey meat, and I got some hamburger meat, and I got the other half of that giant onion that I bought yesterday. And I have another onion for my Cajun chicken dish. I like a lot of onion, but do whatever you want. Make your food how you like it. That's what I do. I make my food how I like it so that it's yummy. Actually, I would probably like to have more cheese, but I still try to make things yummy without having to add too much because that's what I like fatty stuff and starchy stuff. Protein too. I also like meat. Okay, and while that's cooking, because that's just gonna do its thing here. Add some pepper. Pepper, pepper. It's no wonder that I have acid reflux. And we're gonna put some olive oil in here because that turkey meat is really lean. And if you don't add a little fat back in, it tastes like shit. Something that tastes better. It's fat. Fat makes things better. It makes everything better. So while the hamburger is cooking, making taco meat, and the chili is in the slow cooker, creating badass chili, I'm going to clear the kitchen out so that I can sweep and mop because it has to be done. I used to really give myself a hard time about cleaning and stuff because it's really hard to keep up with life and work and everything and I used to think that I had to get everything all done everything had to be done everything had to be complete everything had to be put away everything had to be freshly laundered everything everything had to be like done if it wasn't done and I would give myself a hard time about it but the thing is the dishes laundry and food never end <laughs> because we're human and we must like deal with things every day as everyday part of life part of dealing with everyday life is realizing that you're not gonna get everything done <laughs> had to take years to learn that I can't do it all and get it all done, that I can just take steps and it's okay for things to be in process. That's the way I look at things now. Instead of that, everything has to be done, everything has to be super squeaky clean all the time. Things are in process. Things are happening. I've been like super busy, so many custom videos, and I love you guys, and I love shooting custom videos. I've just not been able to keep up with the other stuff in my life, so now I have a day to myself that I'm going to be catching up. And then Monday, get right back to shooting because I have more custom videos. One of these days, I'll be tackling the Amazon boxes and all the boxes that I have. So yeah, I'm going to be taking care of that soon. Ah! Okay, so the hamburger meat has finished browning and I have put some chili powder and pepper and water in here. Boiled it 
Now it's simmering. Now it's just got to cook. And when all that water burns off, it's going to cook really slow. And all the meat in there and stuff is going to absorb all of those spices and yummy goodness. And then, so yeah, once the water cooks off, it'll be all done. And I finished mopping the floor. So that is done. And there's nothing like mopping the floor and getting things all nice and clean and then like lighting some candles. It is like the best, the best. I'm also doing laundry, so I'm being extra productive today. It's time to stir the chili. I always stir it a few times because I don't want the meat to decide to be in big clumps and be like a big large meatball in there. So yeah, stirring it up. And once this is done, it's not actually completely done because I have more to add to the chili because in my family recipe we eat macaroni in the chili. That's just, that's just how it's done. It also stretches out the chili, gives you a little bit more bulk to it. It's just how we ate it. A big thank you to Brian who bought me these little au gratin baking dishes which I'm going to be washing and then attempting to create a potato au gratin dish. And it's really cool because it's like one, so I could just have one for myself. But as I'm looking at this, I'm realizing there's this would probably last me two days because it'd be like a lot of food. So anyway, I'm gonna try it. So yesterday, I thought it was Sunday, and then I realized that I have a whole extra day because I thought the weekend was over, but it's not. And I have today, Sunday. So I went and I bought a whole bunch of food. And then I went to my P.O. box and one of my good friends sent me some meat. Oh my God. There's a lot of meat in there. There's, we have the meats. Where's the beef? It's at my house. The beef is at my house. Meat is back on the menu, boy. boy. Would you like to see my meat dance? I'm having a really good day, shopping, getting things done, getting my medicine, everything is happening. Food. So now I have a bunch of meat in my freezer. Meat. There's meat. I like meat. I like meat in my mouth. And on days when I don't have to be a hot girl for my job, I'm an actual golem, gremlin, whatever. Meat dance. And so I'm thinking about organizing that, cooking food for this week. So I was going to cook chili and some Cajun chicken pasta stuff that I've been wanting to try and some au gratin potatoes in my new little dishes that I have that someone sent me for my wish list too. And what else was I going to make? Oh, butter noodles. Got some stuff to make butter noodles. I got fresh parsley. I got tons of veggies so I can have lots of fresh healthy food. I got pineapple. I have lots to do today. I'm going to be tackling that and cleaning the kitchen because I haven't mopped the floor in a while and it needs done. I did the bathroom. It's all clean. New toilet lid. It's all ready to go. I might do laundry today, but I don't think so. I think I'm just going to cook and, and clean. Play loud music and dance around my apartment. Enjoy having a day to be a goblin and have this extra day and I might shoot a custom video later that's why I have makeup on because I'm thinking I might shoot that custom video but I might wait till tomorrow I don't know I'm gonna see how I'm feeling and go from there